Hey, what's up? It's Paul from Guitar World, and I'm here with... Alan from Guitar World. And today we're going to be cooking with sound with three and a half ingredients. So, Alan, let's start cooking. Let's cook. So let's talk about the gear we have today. First up is the Line 6 Spider V120 Mark II, this lovely 120 watt wireless ready guitar amp. More about that in a second. That's the half of our um, ingredients here. So much in this amp, uh, it's just ridiculous. It's bonkers. Where do you begin? I don't know. Next up, of course, is the Line 6 Relay G10T uh, transmitter. Obviously, it's just this. It's an amazing wireless unit. And of course, if you have a Line 6 amp, it's already wireless ready. Uh, specifically, of course, here, the Spider V120 Mark II. We have the ModKits DIY, the Thunder Drive Deluxe LTD. This is a great pedal. It's sort of a DIY pedal, but we got this fully assembled. For those who love uh, that particular type of fuzz sound, sort of the germanium, which is more of a vintage, or the silicone, which is a hard clipping. Um, this thing does it, sounds really great. It also works well as a boost as well. I have this Dean Modern 24 Select. Uh, this is the Flame Floyd Tiger Eye. And you can see this beautiful Tiger Eye flame. And Floyd Rose, this is a total shredder guitar, one volume knob, three-way switch, Seymour Duncan pickups. 24 frets, so you can really scream. So jumbo frets. Uh, this is basically, yeah, a high-speed demon. But we're going to use this today and create some cool sounds. Let me show you really quick how easy this is. Oh, there we go, green and uh, pretty remarkable. Wow! It found the amp. Found the amp just like that. Okay, so if you're using a pedal in between the guitar and the amp, how would you still use the wireless? That's a good question, Alan. Um, so what we're going to do here, obviously, um, I can't plug it into um, the guitar. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to plug this into the output. Right there, there's the green signal. And what I'm going to have to do is take an instrument cable and plug that into my guitar. Good. So this is actually a way to maybe keep your amp several feet away from you on stage and not have to run a cable to it. Just like that. Good. There it is. Not even doing anything. It found it. See? There we are. So now we're in business. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. So let me take you through the Line 6 Spider V120 Mark II. This is the 120 watt wireless ready guitar amp. Super, super cool. I'm going to give you the cliff notes of how this amp kind of works. It's real easy to use. Obviously from here you have your input, but right now I'm wireless because this is wireless ready. So it's right away. I'm already plugged in. Over here on this side, we have the phones. So you have a headphone out, so you can uh, practice quietly, or it also doubles as a line out. Over here, you have your master volume, so it's your overall volume. And over here, we have your main set of, of amp controls. Over here on top, it says amp. So right now we're on amp. And if I click on it again, it shows me my virtual control, so it actually corresponds to whatever uh, control I'm using. So I'm moving the treble and automatically shows you how I'm moving the treble and it saves it as soon as you stop using it. Also, if you press on amp again, it'll show you uh, what amp is being modeled. Right now I'm using the double verb and if I, if I turn this, it allows me to pretty much scroll through all the amp uh, of, of the 78 amp models. So that's very cool and I can go back to amp. Also, these controls uh, work as a secondary set of controls for your effects. So clicking on the effects button automatically brings me to the to this controls being now as my secondary set. So over here I have a compressor and just by moving it over on the virtual uh, screen over here you see how much compression I'm adding. There's also a distortion. There's also modulation, delay and reverb. So there's a bunch of effects and you can pretty much control 
anything you want. And that, obviously with the distortion here, I'm using a tube drive, but I can also change just by scrolling through uh, this knob over here that tells me what kind of modeled uh, pedal I want to use, say like a, a, a boost, an EQ, and a tube drive, and, also, and there's a bunch of other distortions. And then it can control the amount of distortion over here. So there are a lot of presets here on the Lime 6, but I, you know, and I tried a lot of the artist's presets. And what I'm going to use as my bass tone to cook with sound here is I actually enjoyed uh, Thrice's Dustin Kensrue uh, presets. He had some very cool sounding presets. They sounded very authentic uh, for modeled presets. Like here's Dynamic Seas, for example. <laughs> What I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust maybe a little less delay. Yeah, right about. So I'm going to go for more of an atmospheric tone. So this will be my bass tone. A really beautiful tone on its own. Sounds delicious. I mean, I can actually just drift on this for a while. Yeah, that's nice. So now that you dialed in that on the amp, and then if I really want to just boost it. For people who might be wondering what a boost would do in front of this amp, which is a modeling amp, mm. this is doing that and it's reacting pretty doing a well. Great job, yeah. Uh, line six, you know, you have the ability to turn effects on and off via the, the foot switch, which is also great on, on that amp. And, uh, and obviously, if you want to add a fuzz or some type of a boost, you can. But I think using this pedal with it adds another a different sort of flavor as opposed to say their modeled flavor of a fuzz or whatever it is. I'd say this is a delicious recipe that can be created pretty easily at yeah. home. Well, I can't wait to see what you come up with now. After Chef Paul showed me how to cook with these ingredients, he left me alone in the kitchen so I could make my own recipe. Here's what I cooked up. I also started by flipping through the presets and I decided to use a preset by Chef Oz Noy as my bass. It's called Oz Clean and it sounds like this. It's a little ambient but I wanted more so I turned up the reverb. It's a little more ambient, but I didn't like the sound of the reverb so much, so I decided to change it and see what the different types of reverb were. The large plate. That's more like it. Next, I wanted to check out the delay and see if I could time it to the beat of my playing. So I went in and I changed the delay from milliseconds to note value, quarter note. And now I was able to tap in the delay that I wanted. That's more like it. But it could use a little more. There we go. And how about a little more of this?
Then I added the thunder drive to give it a little extra sizzle. One thing I really want to stress is that all these products just sound fantastic on their own. This Dean Modern 24 uh, Select uh, Tiger Eye Flame Floyd just is a great, great guitar. I mean, just on its own, it's just like a fast, fast guitar. Love it. And uh, as a wireless system, the Line 6 Relay G10T, wow, uh, really clear signal, so easy to use. And the Modkits DIY Thunder Drive Deluxe LTD, just a just your bare bones, uh, stripped down fuzz distortion boost all in one. It sounds really great on its own. And then of course the Spider V 120 Mark II has everything but the kitchen sink, so you can really get a lot of different tones. Great practice tool, sounds great. Use it as a gigging amp, recording. So so much. But as you heard, we were able to integrate all, all four of these things to really create some great sounds. Yeah, it's fun to experiment with audio recipes in the audio kitchen. And uh, there's so many cool sounds that you can come up with by combining things that you might not think of combining. So just, you know, experiment. Exactly. Be creative. All right. Well, till next time, we'll see you then.